Okay, my name is Gavin Evans. I am a lecturer at London School of Journalism. I also lecture at Birkbeck College, which is part of London University. The skills you need to be a successful journalist would include, first of all, an ability to write. So you need to be able to write coherently, you need to be able to write quickly, and you need to be able to write accurately as well. Secondly, I would say in terms of personality, you need to be someone who's curious about the world, who's interested in what's going on in politics, in entertainment, in sport, who's got a good general knowledge, and I would go even further than curious, I would say somebody who is almost nosy, which is not a good quality for people in general, but for a journalist um, it's a good quality. Well, there's no single route, but most people who are journalists in Britain will do um, a relatively short journalism course after graduating. Now, even if you do a media studies degree, and I, I teach at Birkbeck in media studies, I'd still advise um, students to do that. It's the kind of course that we teach at London School of Journalism. Because you get an intensive training in the skills of, of, of journalism, going out to get a new story and interviewing people, One of the, the mistakes, people come out of university and they're used to writing in an academic way. So they, it takes a while for some of them to learn, to sort of relearn to write in a journalistic way, which is very different. Particularly for news stories where every sentence is a paragraph and every paragraph is one sentence long. Um, they find that difficult and they find it difficult sort of packing all the stuff um, to the top of the story. So the news writing form often does create uh, difficulties. I mean the second very common error that people make is they um, forget to use quotes and when they do use quotes they forget to ask people their surnames um, and so on. So that kind of, that's a, a common error. Uh, well I made many errors in my early days as a uh, as a journalist. Um, for one thing, um, my spelling was atrocious. So, um, in my second week as a journalist, one of the sub-editors came down, she pulled up a chair at her desk, and she uh, got a big piece of paper, and she wrote down the spelling of the word February, and I'd been spelling it without an R, which is very embarrassing. Um, a week later, I had another sub who came up to me, and showed me on another piece of paper that you must always put your punctuation with a, a full quote, sentence quote inside the quote marks and not outside. And she told me it was very irritating to have to correct it with every quote I use. So there were those kinds of errors that uh, you know that I I had to I had to learn really basic uh, stuff. <laughs> 